hello in this video i am going to show you when we delete record from card page means we are going to delete record from view card page on that time we need to increase our quantity again in stock so for that we need to change code in this three, three page first one is product dot product underscore desc dot asph dot cs then view card dot asph dot cs and then delete card dot asph dot cs so first of all i am going to show you we are going to modify coding product underscore desc dot asph dot cs okay so here in this page we need to add our product id over here in last so i am going to add this is very difficult process so please uh, check mm, very constantly now here i am going to pass id this is the product id which we use over here this product id we pass here and we need to again pass over here so in these two place we pass i dot two string and now we do not uh, need to do anything on this product underscore dsc dot asph dot cs now open this view card dot asph dot cs here first increase here six here seven now i am going to add in last copy this just paste here and now i am going to take one more product underscore id now here we need to pass id so id we are getting on the last element so this is our last element f4 but we pass in the last so our last element should be a of pi dot to string so in the last element we get id okay so in view card we need to add just this now this delete card this is the most important part now here i am going to do again six here i am going to do seven now here we need to add product id so again copy paste then product underscore id now again we need to pass here AO pi dot two string and now here we need to pass update query so i write this code copy and i paste here yes i paste this code before this dt dot rows dot remove it but i explain you what is the meaning of this but we need to declare these two variable product id and qty so i am going to declare here integer product id and qty and we need to do your database connectivity so i am going to write here sql connection new sql connection then at the rate then for database path properties and this connection string copy and paste over here okay so we pass this connection now here what we are going to do first of all we take this loop using this loop we are going to get a product id and product quantity but in this we are going to pass id id means the position of cookies means if you are going to delete two number cookies means uh, second product from card then we get here one we get here one so here we are going to check condition count is equal to id means if we are in the second position on that time we are going to get product id and quantity of this cookie so if we get product id and quantity after then we are going to pass here update query update product set product quantity is equal to product quantity plus quantity means if uh, the current quantity in card is 2 then after delete this we need to update this uh, two item in our main table in product table so i add here quantity where id is equal to product id on after that we are going to remove these cookies 
and then again we are going to create new two gs you already know what is the meaning of this in last video i already show you now here i am going to take product id dr here we need to take underscore id now this product id we need to pass here Okay, now I am going to run this and we are going to check we are getting proper output or not. If we are uh, getting any error then uh, absolutely we are going to solve that. Okay, so first of all this available quantity is 10. So I am going to add 2 quantity. So now re remain here 8. Now I am going to in shopping cart. Okay, so we are going to here 2. Now I am going to delete. Now again I am going to in this store we can see here we get here quantity 10 i will show you again click here quantity 2 so now remain quantity is 1 we are going to check in this store we can see here the quantity is 1 because we already had 2 quantity in cut now i am going to show you shopping cut going to delete now again in store we can see here available quantity is 3 so this way you can perform like this when we delete quantity from card on that time we need to add here in product table quantity thank you so much for watching my video if you are yet in doubt and if you need this code file then send me email i will send you this code file so easily you can understand what we change thank you so much for watching my video